What's up, guys? I'm off high creatures. A quick disclaimer before we start the show. This original recording what did happen back in September. However, uh, let me just show you two clips of the original reading and you can say how bad the recording went. You guys gotta get me out of here. I'm gonna climb the walls. I bet the shower here is looking good. As you can see... So... Me and everyone else, as in the two readers you're about to see, decided to do this way in January. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Take it away, parody opening! We are the Blunderbolts, and we are proud to be Voicing my little pony for your family There's old friends and new friends and even laser through good times and bad times, it's forcing we share. And so we found a place where everyone will know. Joker's mustache face. This is the Blunderbolt. <laughs> What's up, guys? Master Roshi78 here. Joker's finally letting me host for once. Awesome! Here we have Lolmau5. His impression would be pretty good, isn't it? And we have Cracking Laser. You. Alright, so those of you who haven't seen this show, what happens is we take a random script from My Little Pony French of His Magic Season 2, and we put our own spin on it by adding our own character impressions towards it. So, we're going to get started by choosing our roles for Act 1. I don't know who's going to be choosing for who, we're just going to figure that out as we go along. So then, until then, impressions. All right, we're back. So we got the roles for Act 1. And by the way, our own Artsy227 has joined us at last minute. So we gave him one role at the end of Act 1. But he will get more roles in Act 2. So for Act 1, we got Joker doing El Capitan from DuckTales for Twilight Sparkle. We got Laser doing Marek Ishtar from, <laughs> from Yu-Gi-Oh! for Pinkie Pie. I will be doing Goofy from... Well, Disney, for rarity. Joker will be doing Owen Wilson for Applejack. Laser will be doing Fat Albert for Fluttershy. Big, big, big. big shocker. I will be, for the Doctor, I will be doing Lenny from The Simpsons. And for Rainbow Dash, we got Joker doing Tommy Wiseau. And for the Pink Nurse, we got Artsy doing a Diamond Dog. So, without further ado, let's get to it! Hey, Goofy! Hey, Marek! What are you looking at? Is it gold? Tell me what's that? Isn't she the most daring devil? I mean, the most devilish dare, I mean. Oh, no! Poor sister is dazzling. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, that's a good word. She's dazzling. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! The gold! Aye, 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 aye! Oh, that's gonna hurt. So much for dazzling. My little pony, my little pony, my little pony, you would have seen my little pony if you were imagining me, but it had a ton of other things. I think about my little pony, you're gonna get a little friend. Hey, Goofy, you're gonna get a little friend. Oh, is she gonna be okay? Oh, I'm so worried. Is her face gonna stay that way? How is she, Mr. Doctor? Ah, uh, she's gonna be fine. Luckily, she's got friends like you who got her over here in a jiffy. Oh, how long do I need to lie here, huh? I need to get back to Lisa. Well, that all depends on your recovery. But I'd say, uh, a few days minimum. You guys have got to get me out of here! I'm gonna climb the walls, huh? Oh, just like a spider. Uh, did the crash somehow give her super-duper spider powers? Uh, no, no. No one to give her amazing healing powers. She needs to stay in bed for a few days. Isn't that right, Carl? Uh, yeah, yeah, you got it. A few days? It might as well be a few months. It's not that bad, Tommy was so. Yeah, I, I bet that child in here is uh, finger looking good. <laughs> I'm the hospital, Gams. Whoa, my match the curtains. 
And luck, you have a roommate. What's this? Do they have something for me? These are and the quest for the ultimate script, huh? This is the first story in the series. I own all of them, but I want the gold. No thanks, huh? I so don't read. That's why my scripts suck, huh? I'm a world-class director. Reading is for eggheads like you, El Capitan. Ah, <laughs> no offense, but that's not a good story, El Capitan. It's undeniably, unquestionably uncool. <laughs> She's serious? Who doesn't like to read a bang-up tale from time to time, like Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> My book was terrible. <laughs> Why, good book is almost as magnificent as silk pajamas or... A pair of flapjacks on a Sunday morning. Reading is for everybody, Tommy was so, but the gold is mine. Yeah, I love reading, and my head isn't even close to the shape of an egg. It's more the shape of an apple or maybe an orange, uh, but a big orange. More like a grapefruit, really. All right, my little characters, Tommy was so needs his rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I think you like Lisa. She's a lot like you. A terrible actor, and undeniably, unquestionably, terrible! To get to the other side, huh? You get it, Mark? Never mind. As Lisa trekked through the tropical jungle, where he sapped her energy, and slow her every step. If only she could escape this oppressive atmosphere and fly up into the blue sky, ha! Huh? But her crash landing in the jungle had injured her sex life. And she was a virgin for a few days, ha! Huh? A few days. It might as well be a few months or a few years. Ha ha ha! What a funny story, Twilight. I'm right there with you, Lisa! The mark buzzed loudly. The Danny cried from the high trees. <laughs> Yet all of these distracting characters were not enough to cover the sound of the Tommy Wiseau's following her every step, ha. Huh? Safely landing on the other side of the apartment, Lisa finally allowed herself a moment to master <laughs> Ha. She turned around to find herself face to face with the long lost brothel. That she had sought tirelessly for over 60 days and nights. Hey, I wrote this, ha. Huh? I hate to admit it myself. And would really hate to admit it to my friends. But I love this story, Lisa. I, I, but I'm a virgin. All right, we're back. So after Act One, we got we're gonna have Artsy doing a lot more roles. So we're gonna choose the roles for Act Two. Until then, you lovely people, just uh, wait for one second because in the actual video, we're gonna take one second for the transition to go in. So until then, impressions. Yeah. All right, we're back for Act Two. So for Act Two, we got me doing Rainbow Dash as Vincent Price. Ooh. For Daring Do, we have Laser doing Scrubby, the janitor. Mm -hmm. For Twilight Sparkle, we got Archie doing Callie. For Fluttershy, we got Joker doing Simon Cowell. For Ali Zoto, I, I think I said that right. For Ali Zolo, I'll be doing Matthew Broderick. For Rarity, we got Laser doing Oogie Boogie. Double for Day! Apple, so, for Applejack... We got uh, RT doing Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my God, the owners. We got Joker doing Chief Wiggum. That that's iron ironic. <laughs> for Pie, I will be doing Nappa from D Dragon Ball Z Abridged. And for the Doctor, we will have Laser doing the Peddler from Resident Evil Four. So, without further ado, let us commence getting to it.
The smell of decay and danger hit daring Scruffy as he peered into the dimly lit entrance of the ancient temple. Phew. Hi, I Vincent Price. Oh, uh, um, uh, good evening, gentlemen. Because of my stupid charitable purposes, I've been forced to come here and cheer you up. I really am not enjoying it so far. This hospital is absolutely terrible. We brought your favorite tally game. We know how much you like to win, but I'm afraid that you're so terrible I just can't allow it. It's gonna be, a, it's just gonna have to be a no from me. Let's go on. You go first, Vincent Price. Oh, no, no, no. I'm certain that you should go first. All right. Uh, part three? <laughs> oh, woe is me. You rained on my cumulus. <laughs> go again. Um, Sky Five. Oh, Thunderation, you have found my seagull. Uh, Clown Two? Oh, you have zapped my weather pony. My, you stung my bumblebee. My thunderbolt. Ah, uh, and that's my last cloud. <laughs> yes. You found it. Guess you guys win. I lose. But, Vincent Price, you didn't even get a single turn. Just, what exactly are you even playing at here? Before you go off on another tangent, let me just say, you win some, you lose some. But you don't lose some. I don't think you ever lost a game of... Well, gentlemen, I bid you good night and thank you for coming. But yesterday you were desperate for things to do! Do? Who said anything about Darren Scruffy? I told you, I am not interested in reading. Yawn. It's nap time for me. Well, I'm glad we could waste my time here. Daring Scruff stood at the entrance to the central temple chamber. At last, she was face to face with the legendary Sapphire statue. Mm -hmm. There must be a bed in here. What do all these animals have in common? Ah, uh -huh. these animals are all predators except marmalade. Hey, hey, it's a prize, it's a prize, it's a prize, it's a prize. How's our patient doing today? We need to get some fresh air in here. You're looking sweatier than a pig wrangler on a summer's day. Uh, well, yeah. well, guys, thank you so much for visiting, but... Okay, now, don't have time for a chief. <laughs> Oh, I know. Oh. I'll say it's, it's dinner time for a price. price. Yeah. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh, just in time, Chief Wiggum. I am so hungry. Oh, well, don't mind us, Vincent Price. Yeah, just go ahead and eat up those lips. On a second thought. Ah, ah. We'll see you tomorrow. Vincent Price. You thought you could evade me and capture the relic for yourself, but you were sadly mistaken, Mr. Scruffy. And now you shall meet your doom. I say, who is this blandly acted fellow? You won't get away with this, Matthew Broderick. Well, it's too late for that. I already have. Oh, marmalade, quicksand. Stranger, stranger, stranger. 
<laughs> oh, oh, uh, good evening, Doctor. Morning. Morning, Doc. Ah, have you been up all night, stranger? Oh, my, of course not. <laughs> well, I'll be quick. Congratulations, Vincent Price. We're checking you out of the hospital. What? Later today? No, right now. Right now? I said right now, right now. Right now, right now. But I don't feel better. I am weary. Now, take it easy, stranger. Remember to stay off that script for a week. Oh my, how will I ever find out what happens to Daring Scruffy? Is this the end for the surprise? All right, on that note, we are now beginning Act 3. And might I say, Act 2 was just hilarious. It was amazing. So anyway, really? we're going to choose each other's roles for Act 3, and you lovely people just hang on to your seats. Until then, impressions. All right, we're back. So, for Act 3, we will have Laser and Dr. Claw for Rainbow Dash. Well, I joke that you're a comic book guy and the doctor. For the pink nurse, we got Artsy doing Runt. For the yellow nurse, I will be doing the Cowardly William. <laughs> For Daring Do, we will have Jokey. 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 For Daring Do, we will have... For Daring Do, we will have Joker doing Squidward. The Spider will have Laser doing Skeletor. For oh, Rare, we will have... What? Okie jokey dokie. Okay. For Rarity, we'll have Artsy doing Dr. Lollipop from... If you don't know what Dr. Lollipop is, well, he's a cartoon short on the internet. For, for Applejack, I'll be doing Rep- Wreck-It Ralph. For Pinkie Pie, we'll have Joker doing Jack Sparrow. For Twilight, we'll have Laser doing Mickey Mouse. For Spike, we'll have Artsy doing Spike from the Dot Bomb series. And finally, for Ali Zodal, I will be doing Alf. So, without further ado... Let's uh, get to it! Let's get this over with. Is Alf going to get away with the statuette? What's going to happen to Squidward? Aha! Mickey Mouse has a copy of the book. But I can't ask her after I called her an egg at all. This is making me sick all over again. Oh, the pain, the pain. Dr. Claw, what are you doing here? Anything wrong? Well, uh, my wing. It's still hurt, Doc. Ugh, worst excuse ever. You don't even have a wing. Oh, ouch, right there. I'm not even touching you. Uh, uh right. That one's hurting now, too. I think I know what the trouble is. A severe case of Vesey-itis. Worst syndrome ever. But, but, you got me all wrong, Doc. I'm, I'm not, I'm not being lazy. I'm not even a doctor, Dr. Claw. Give it some time and you'll be right back in the swing of things. After your movie, Inspector Gadget, though, I highly doubt you'll be back and do any swings. Good day, sir. Good day, Dr. Claw. Take care, take care. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I'll never get to sleep without knowing what happens to Daring Squidward. Which may not be such a bad thing. Ah, it feels like the harder I struggle, the tighter the ropes get. Help! Burglar! Burglar! Someone's trying to steal my slippers! I'm not trying to steal your slippers. I'm trying to steal this book. Stop, thief! Hey! No pun invited me, mate. I mean, when there's a giant, whatever the hell this thing is, I should be invited, right? 
Oh, well, I'm a pirate. I'll just waltz in anyway. Bertolis, hasn't any pony heard of beauty sleep? Dr. Claw, what in Gotham City is going on here? And why are you stealing liver pants? Hey, get back to the hospital. What's all the ruckus? Mm, I'd say it's more of a fracas than a ruckus, Sabby. Oh, uh -huh. what's going on, Dr. Claw? I'm an egghead. I beg your pardon? See, I was trying to get back into the hospital to finish the last chapter of... Oh, uh -huh. daring Squidward in the quest for Sapphire Clarinet. You get me. Oh, uh -huh. wow. I knew the book was good, but I didn't know I could drive a pony to petty theft. I know, that's my job, mate. Good. Good. Try awesomely amazing. That book is undeniably, unquestionably, unputdownable. Are you sure you shouldn't be back in the hospital, mate? But then, I had to put it down. I was sent home before I could finish it. Oh, I'm glad that's all this is about. Yeah, there's no reason to go around causing a ruckus. Fracas, mate. Causing a fracas just because you like to read. See, doesn't it sound better, mate? Oh, uh -huh. like I said, I have every book in the series, and you can borrow them all anytime you like. Thanks, Mickey. I'm sorry I made such a big deal about all this. I thought reading was just smart ponies like you. Dr. Claw, just because you're athletic doesn't mean you're not smart. Yeah, just look at me. Reading is something every pony can enjoy. If they just give it a try. Yeah, I get it. I shouldn't knock something until I've tried it. Oh, that's a great lesson. It would make a great little little princess. Get all that? Yeah. Great. You can write the book. I gotta go get Gadget. Another day, another dungeon. Hey, Willie, with Darren Squidward out of the way, the world will suffer mightily in my... Hairy hands. I am the man. I'll take that. <laughs> what, 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 what? No! Better luck next time, Al. <laughs> Curse you, Squidward! You and your six tentacles! I am beyond an allegory of my six tentacles. <laughs> And so, with Al defeated, and the sapphire clarinet secured, the world was safe and sound once again, thanks to Daring Squidward. Daring Squidward and the Pretty Patty. Awesome. My little pony. All right, that's it for the whole thing. Now, that was hilarious. That was freaking hilarious. <laughs> All right, all right, guys. Now it is time to choose our impressionist of the week. Can I go first? Can I go first, Squidward? I'm hosting, so I go first. Hey, Squidward, I always choose first. If not, I rip the reading. Bah! All right, now let's see. Why you... I'm gonna look through this myself because I am. I I gotta go with Joker's town in this though. Slip into a slim gym! Alright, Joker, who do you choose? Alright, let me just go out because there's a load of good ones, actually. The one Vincent Price is my favorite in Act 2, definitely. Uh. <laughs> um, in Act 1, my favorite was. In Act 2, my favorite was Fan Albert, actually. In Act 3, ooh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I gotta give it to Roshi for Vincent Price. Roshi, my vote goes to you for Vincent Tito Pricey. Same. Wayne also chooses my Vincent Price. Yeah. All right, Archie, who's your vote go to? Well, goes to you then for Vincent Price. Wow, that's just lazy. Alex, <laughs> think for once. Have we the the point. Week? Everything is basically all, all towards Roshi, so he wins on that. And the person of the week is me. Yeah. No, no, I feel like I can yeah. see it. Yeah. All right, Woo. so thank you for. Wait, final thoughts. Final thoughts, Roshi. Final thoughts. Any final thoughts, guys? No. Okay, thank yes, you. Yes, I have final thoughts, damn it. 
Okay, Joker, what are your final thoughts? All right. I actually really had a lot of fun here. I mean, I'm really glad that Rush, even though that's the second time Rush has put it on my tummy was so... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about, because I'm still editing this. Roshi's hosting, but I'm still editing. I don't know what I'm going to do about Lisa's adventures to the brothel. Ugh. Um, still, I really liked it. Um, really good to have a you know nice refresher course before the convention, even though it's eight months away. It's seven months away. My apologies. But yeah, really nice to get back into reading again. No lad. Anyone else got any final thoughts? My final thoughts... My voice is super screwed! <laughs> Alex? Nope. Alright. Alright then. I had a really fun time hosting this episode. Thank you, Joker. Yay! So, I guess for now we shall say so long, farewell, Avida Zena, adieu, adieu, adieu. And adieu. we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! You meant to give an outro, Roshi. Remember, this has been blah, 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 blah. Well, they know who we are. I'll finish it up then. This has been Master Roshi 78. Joker, they know who we are. Cracking laser. <laughs> Ashley 227. Ciao. And me, Lama 5, Roshi has a lot to learn about the hosting. And now we Come need back to... anytime. And now we need you a got... joke. And you've got a lot to learn about. Shut the hell up! This has got to be the worst torture chamber I've ever been in, Vincent Price. <laughs> so, Mr. Cowell, you don't like my performance, do you? No, it's absolutely te- What is that you have in your hands? It's rusty. It's absolutely terrible. And ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, it hurts! Ah! Oh, my dear Simon Cowell, I'm afraid you've gone and upset me. You know <laughs> Could not get in on this. Oh, Mr. Boogie, I would be honored. <laughs> <laughs> You're both absolutely terrible. Shut up, you! We are the blood of both, and we are proud to be crap. We are proud to be crap. No, no, I, I forgot the second verse. <laughs> Hold on, uh, let me My try. name is Cleveland Brown, and I'm proud. All right, what's up, guys? This is Master Roshi seventy eight here. Joker's letting me host for once. Awesome. And now, if any of you have, oh wait. Not so easy, is it? Okay, shut up! Well, all dying, Mikey. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> well, that'll do, Roshi, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Hey. Hi! 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 Ladies! Oh, nice lady! Oh, with the piggies and the squealing and the going <laughs> points and the ladies! Fighting late! I, yeah, actually, I want to do an opening of that sometime where we just all mimic each other. <laughs> <laughs> and here's my Alex impression. He's just all over the place. But he's, he's really good at like, getting to the point. You know, it's just going all over the place. Like, hey, guys, guys, just listen for a second. I want to talk about Spike. <laughs> 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 We love you, Alex. We do. That has yeah. got to be the worst rendition of My Little Pony in Fast Forward I have ever heard. Shut the fuck up, Simon! Oh, shut up, Simon. A few days? It might as well be a few months or a few years without any sex! <laughs> <laughs> and look, you have a roommate. Oh, shut up, Merrick. <laughs> I'm in here because of you! More like a grapefruit, really. Your haircut, Merrick, is more like a pineapple. Akora! Merrick. To get to the other side, huh? You get it, Mark? 
I'm not Mark, you fool. Markiplier. <laughs> Actually, for rarity, do Oogie Boogie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I just fabulous. <laughs> Simply fabulous, darling. You're joking. You're joking. I can't believe my eyes. You use brown as a main color. You use brown as your compliment. Oh. It's supposed to be your sex. It's only Jay. Um, Sky 5. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I just cannot play this. This is the absolute worst game I have ever played. I mean, it's just battleships. You, you do realize you, this is just battleships, but with clouds. I'm sorry, you just cannot go through with this. I'm sorry. This is absolutely dreadful. The worst board game I have ever played. You don't have many friends, do you? I don't need any friends. Well, I'm glad we could waste my time here. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go moan about how rainbows are absolutely terrible. Come on, Towley, let's go to Cloudsdale. Alright, you wanna get high while we get there? No. <laughs> no. Now, Towley, this is the worst blunt I've ever seen. What, did you make it in, like, overnight while you were drunk or something? Hey, don't judge, okay? It ain't easy. Ain't easy. Ain't easy. Meanwhile! I have to say, this is the worst temple design I've ever seen. You're not even in You're looking sweatier than a vagina wrangler on a summer's day. I don't think we're allowed doing that. I wish I could do that. my vagina. By the way, have you seen that towel running around here? I know this is strange, but have you seen that towel running about here? Of a face. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but he's kind of stole my blunts. I know I'm supposed to arrest him, but he stole my blunts. Yeah. Hey, uh, Chief, you gotta stop seeing towels everywhere. Animation go. The lips are moving. <laughs> Napa, what are you doing in that hospital? Get out here at once! A vagina! Tricks are for kids. <laughs> <laughs> and now you shall meet your doom. My god, Whoa. that is the worst performance. I mean, you didn't even have to say two lines, and already I just want to vomit all over this Security! You'll not, you won't hear the end of this from me. I, I'm telling you right now, I will be back. I'll be back with reporters all over this place. I'll, oh. Seriously, who keeps letting him in? <laughs> just continue on! Oh my, how will I ever find out what happens to Daring Scruffy? Is this the end for Vincent Price? Or is this the end for Act 2? Oh, woe is me and the Shakespearean actor. Now I have got to say that that was the worst reading that I have ever witnessed. Alright, that thing, you and me are going outside. Come on. No, wait, were you taking me? No, no, Come leave, on. No, leave, leave me alone. No, 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 I... That's my shirt. Hey, I made a lot of money that, for that land shirt. For I don't think the Canadian government cares. I got Yoshi's line, yes. Yoshi's. I keep calling you Yoshi, I don't know why. There's a... There's a... There's a... So happy. Wow! Alright, ooh. I... Thank you, Gizmo. Anyway. Wreck it, Ralph. Wreck it, Ralph. Hey, boys! Right. I'm gonna wreck it! I'm gonna wreck that plot. <laughs> no, what? No! Alright. Look, to be honest, Joker, doesn't the name of, the of that movie sound like a porno? Everything sounds like a fucking porno these days. You know, gravity, the desolation of smog. And... <laughs> I thought at the bottom of the next line it says lazy tits. What? <laughs> lazy tits. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta say, I gotta say, I gotta say it. Lazy artists. No way, I gotta, I gotta. I lazy think tits. I know what the trouble is. It's a real case of lazy tits. <laughs> no, I gotta, I gotta say, it. I gotta say it properly. I gotta. They say just it. don't want to bounce anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Worst tits ever! Just Someone's trying to steal my little pants! 
<laughs> Let me guess. Squidward is trying to steal your leather pants. No, he's trying to steal my slippers. I'm not trying to steal your leather pants. I'm an egghead. Well, that's how things just all go on. Oh, uh-huh. I'm old dash. Just because you're athletic. Uh-huh. I'm old dash. Just because you're Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll kick your ass, you little bitch. <laughs> I'm a charity ring, damn it. Oh, oh. Next time. Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> My owl. <laughs> it was meant to be a cat, but... I've, I've always made fun of that part. Shut up, you lousy right. pussy. Another day, another dungeon, another $25. I need to get a better job than this. Another day, another nickel! Shut up, wow. Bob. I'll get you next time, Terrence Squidward. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>